Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mendes and today I'm going to show you how to configure Master Data Management or MDM with the LDAP. Okay, so the agenda for the video is first. Well, the, the first thing that you need to do is that in the Hub Console you need to create an authentication provider. Um, it should look like this when you create it. The first attribute is the Java name factory initial. It's going to look like this. It's by by default when you select the Microsoft Active Directory template, it provide it provides this information. Then the Java name provider URL. It's the basically the IP address of your uh, Active Directory machine and the port number username postfix and prefix in this example here my domain is test.informatica.com and all the LDAP users have been created under the organization unit users and the username prefix is going to look like this I am going to show uh, how to gather this information soon so after that, you what you need to do is that you need to create a MDM user under the hub console and set this property authentication externally. It should look like this. There is no need to run a synchronization job in master data management, like you you can see in other tools like Power Center. The steps from the video here are related to Microsoft Active Directory. The attributes and sets might change depending on third party to use it. Now let me show you an example. Okay, I just logged in here in the Hub Console. Here under the uh, security providers, I right click here and hit the Add Login module. As you can see, there are some templates. I, I have used this one, Microsoft Active Directory template. I won't add it because I have done already. Let me show you. Okay, this is the one that I just added. Let me open it here. Okay, like I said, this is filled up when you select the template. Here's the IP address of the Microsoft Active Directory machine, the port number 389 the, Then I added these two additional attributes username, postfix, and prefix. Uh, <coughs> how do I gather this information? Let me show you. Uh, in my example here, I have used this uh, third party tool uh, to extract the, the LDAP information. In this example here is I use the software LDAP browser. I have created this LDAP user here, ABC space test. Let, let me take a look at the properties here. In the properties I, I see the whole information about it. So I see the domain, the organization unit and the username. Let me just oops. let me open a notepad just to paste the information here I just copied so this is my user ABC space test the prefix and postfix come from this like we can see here, let me show you. I just split it here the the, the whole string and username dot postfix. It's this information here. Whatever you have in your environment uh, until the the username. Uh, in my example here, I have comma cn equals users and my domain controller test.informatica.com and this one for the prefix cn equals okay I have done that now these steps 
let me minimize this this one also now I'm going to create the user here I have already already did it let me redo just to, to show you okay I hit the plus sign then I I specify the user ABC as name test I have to set the same one here ABC space test now I need to flag this option use external authentication I just flag it okay the user has been created now let me give a try here and try to log in with the user ABC test I'm set the LDAP password and hit OK. Okay, as you can see, it just worked fine. I'm going to connect here to my ORS. You can see here ABC test. Okay, in summary, today you have learned how to configure the MDM with Microsoft Active Directory. We'd love to hear from you. Please get in touch by support videos at informatica.com or by Twitter. Infosport. Thank you.